Hey everyone, Katie Sutton here, Intuitive Channel and founder of Zen Within Academy and the New Earth Now School with your December 2023 energy update. Wow, we're at the end of the year, I can't believe it. I've got three really big themes to share with you this month. This is a very important month. The first is redefining family. The second is finding your home frequency. And the third is activating new timelines. All right. So let's dive in. So I feel like I need to really emphatically say to you all to pay attention this month. The seeds that we are planting this month and the transformation that we're going to go through in December is really going to set the stage for all of 2024 and not to put a lot of pressure on you <laughs> or to put too fine of a point on it, but this is an important month, my friends. And these themes that I'm going to share with you are beautifully juicy and full of life and full of awareness and full of activation. And I'm excited to bring them forward for you. But before I drop into that, don't forget to like and subscribe this page so that you can catch my weekly videos. I do a week update called Zen with Zen's Day, and I bring forward whatever's going on in the collective and share some teachings and some insights and sometimes activations. And I also want to announce that our Peru trip that we're doing in 2024 in May is live and ready to sign up. You can sign up for it now. And it is with a beautiful couple, Rebellino and Nelda, who are medicine people from Peru, husband and wife couple, just like my husband and I, and we are going to be teaming up to bring this once in a lifetime experience to you. It's going to be a very heart-led, divine feminine, earth-focused journey. All along the way, we're going to be hearing from Mother Earth and working with Mother Earth and bringing these really important codes in for those who are joining us. So if you're interested in traveling to Peru in a really sacred way, in a really beautifully held container with a lot of intention, then I hope you'll check out our, our little adventure retreat that we have coming up in May. The link will be below this video. Let's drop into these themes. I'm really excited to share them with you. So the first is redefining family. And this one is coming in quickly and hot. <laughs> I have been in session with people this week leading up into December. Today is December 1st as I'm recording this. And this has been a really loud theme already. So I know that we're going to all be working with it. And of course, we have the holidays. So we have a lot of family energy present right now. But this theme is really about redefining our individual roles within our family units, redefining how we view family on this planet, how we look at responsibility with family on this planet, and also opening up to our greater soul family and opening up the definition of family to be more than just blood relatives. So this one is a little tender for a lot of people. The work that I've been doing with people is to really pull their energy back and pull back any role that they may be playing in their family where they feel that they need to fix or take on the suffering of those that are in their family. And at the beginning of the year, if you all have been following along and you caught my December or my January 2023 energy update and healing circle, we have been talking all year about being the embodied way shower. And so all of the themes of December are bringing closure to that overarching theme that we've had all year. And this one is really related to that. I talk with you all a lot about how hard it is to really hone our path and our process and be in our home vibration and not let the suffering of those around us pull us into the density with them. And we want to be empathic. We want to be beautiful, compassionate souls. We want to be helpers, but we can't be wounded helpers. We can't be wounded healers. And so this theme of redefining family is about you stepping out of that role of being the punching bag or the one who feels like you're doing all the work for the whole family and really giving some of that energy back to your family members so that they need to step into their own highest timeline and their own work. And it also is about being able to look at your family members who might be operating in a very different reality than you with different viewpoints and different beliefs 
and really allowing them to just have that process and being happy for them. And even though it may not be something that you would choose or you really want to enlighten them with all of your spiritual wisdom, the opportunity this month is to just let them be as they are. And really find, if you have been hurt by a family member, really finding forgiveness in your heart and compassion in your heart for the people within your family unit that maybe have harmed you. Now, that doesn't mean that you just let them back in and let them harm you again, right? You may still need to hold boundaries, but can you bring forgiveness in your heart? And can you look at your family members as just people? right? If they weren't a family member, how would you be interacting with them? Would you be interacting with them? What would your boundaries be? On this planet, we have so much stuff around family, so many shoulds and so many shouldn'ts, and it really can be very confining, especially if you called in a family unit in this lifetime that is very different than you. And so I just invite you to throw all of those freaking rules out and get really clear on how you wanna show up within your family unit and what your role is and how you wanna interact with them and what do you want your holidays to look like, right? We're here in December, we've got a lot of expectations that are being placed on us or that we're placing on ourselves. I invite you to really align with what it is that you need. What is your truth? What is your authentic truth in what you need as you spend time or don't spend time with family this holiday? And how can you just let that be okay? Now, I say that this theme is very tender because I am noticing that there's a lot of grief and a lot of sadness that comes to the surface when we start to redefine these things because the inner child aspect of you might have an expectation of what they thought they wanted family to be like, and that part of you may be struggling with the reality of what is. And so it's important not to let that wounded inner child part drive the train in these relationships and lead the way in these relationships, but still for you to give that part of you as much space and as much love as you can so that it can heal whatever wound is there. And it's a very fine balancing act that we are being asked to walk this month where we are honoring our needs in the present, honoring what we desire at the inner child level and balancing both of those things together, okay? So this one's pretty complicated. And so one of the ways that you can work with this energetic theme this month is to sit down and get really clear on your definition of family. There may be people in your life that you consider family that accept you just as you are and you accept them just as they are and it's easy. And can you lean more into those relationships to fulfill the need of that inner child level where maybe they're lacking that family connection and having different expectations? How can you choose to fill up your cup? How can you be intentional with your relationships in December as you work with this theme? And spoiler alert, relationships is going to be a big part of what we're working on in 2024, okay? So let's talk about the second theme, which I'm really happy to share. It is called Finding Your Home Frequency. And I was away after Thanksgiving in Asheville. I was attending a workshop with Porenge, who is a amazing musician. He and his wife, Ashley, were bringing a music as medicine workshop to the Asheville area, and it was an amazing workshop. You should look him up if you would like to hear his music. And the night before I went to the music as medicine workshop, I woke up in the middle of the night and... I realized that I had some kind of foreign energy in my field because that night we had been to a concert with Perengue and it was really busy. There was a lot of people there. There were a lot of people coming in and out of my energy bubble and there was just a lot of stuff going on in my vibratory field. When I woke up in the middle of the night, I realized it. And I started tuning into my guides and asking one of my go-tos is Archangel Michael, asking him to help me clear that energy. And he said, Katie, I'm happy to help you do that, but I really want you to start asking me something different. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? And he said, I want you to start asking for support in holding your home 
frequency. And I said, wow, okay, I can do that. That is a very different intention. And he said, yes, one is positive and one is negative. And he was talking to me about how when we're first on our spiritual path, how we can get really caught up in boundaries and needing to keep foreign energy out to keep our energy sacred. And he said, there's a point in time on your spiritual path where you shift into, it's more about holding your truth and holding your home frequency. And I know this, I teach this, I've talked about this, but even I needed a reminder that my requests when I'm asking for help from my guides needs to be more in alignment with what my truth is. And he said, so I want you to tune into what your home frequency is. And I want you to ask me to help you to amplify that in your vibratory field. And when he did that, Archangel Michael always comes to me because we carry the same healing ray and healing vibration, this beautiful royal blue light. And when he did that, I felt my own internal vibration, which is a mix of royal blue and fuchsia and purple, kind of start to turn on in my heart space. And I felt it turn on in my solar plexus and turn on in my sacral, my root, my whole chakra column. And then when I asked him to help me hold that home frequency, what I felt him do was just come in and almost like he was blowing air into a balloon and he was helping me to send that light and that vibration and expand it out into my whole field and into all the parts of my body and really just filling me up with my light. And then I said, okay, that feels really good. Can you help me to amplify this with source energy and with earth energy? And he said, sure, let's bring that light in. And it was like somebody had turned on a light inside of the light. And this beautiful illumination began to happen within my inner landscape that brightened up those colors in my field. And I went back to sleep and I felt really good the next day. I was like, wow, I'm really in my body and everything feels really wonderful. And I don't feel like I have a whole bunch of foreign energy in my space. I feel really good. Fast forward, we go into the workshop and Peringe is teaching about percussion and us using our voices to create rhythm and he's talking about he's dividing us into groups and he's giving one group one rhythm and one group another rhythm and they're actually the same rhythm but just turned upside down basically and there were a few of us who were right on the edge where one group ended and the other group started and I was right on that cusp if you will and he said you all have the hardest job because you have to stay true to the percussive rhythm that I've given you and not fall into the rhythm of the people that are beside you. And I had this like massive light bulb moment of holy cow. <laughs> That's exactly what Archangel Michael was teaching me last night. And here this teaching is coming in in this workshop in a different way. And so it was like this really beautiful driving home point of you know, how easy it is to fall into somebody else's rhythm and how easy it is to fall into somebody else's frequency and really how diligent we have to be to hold that. And in January, the guides brought through a teaching about how important it is that we really hone in on what we're connecting with in the outside world and really coming back to our home frequency and running everything through our truth filter, right? To see if that thing that we're interacting with is in alignment with our truth or not. And we're going to go deeper into this teaching in the December Healing Circle because this is so important. It is not going to get any easier for us to hold our home frequency in terms of what's happening outside of us. There's going to continue to be chaos. There's going to continue to be people that really want us to join their truth and their vibration. And it doesn't mean that they're right and we're wrong. It's just what is in alignment for you. And so we're going to have to continue to work pretty diligently to hold that home frequency. And when we practice that, when we practice being in our truth, when we practice being in our authenticity, when we practice being in our integrity, it actually helps to magnetize our highest timeline to us. And in November, I talked with you about resting in desire and resting in that feminine magnetic energy. This is an expansion on that. Okay, so let's talk about the third theme because they're really tied together here. So on December 13th, we're going to be doing our healing circle at 7.30 p.m. Eastern focused on this very important theme of activating new timelines. I'm also going to be bringing through <clears throat> some teachings on home frequency in that as well. 
but this theme of activating new timelines is built on top of holding your home frequency. Because as I just said, if you are in your integrity, if you are in your authenticity, or if you are lit up with your truth, you will become a natural magnet. And that aligns you with and helps to activate brand new timelines for your reality. So I had an awareness this month in November as I was leading up to recording this for you all. I was reading something about the new earth and how it's already here and I teach this all the time. But there was an actual energetic shift in my body where I was really able to feel a deeper level of truth in the words that I was reading that yes, we are operating in a completely different timeline than some of the people around us. And we keep expecting that the new earth timeline means that these things are going to fall away and not be here anymore. That's not what's happening, right? What's happening is that we're activating new timelines and new possibilities when we're creating from this heart led soul led place. And when we do that, we are aligning with the reality that we're seeking. And for example, let's say that in your new earth timeline, corporate America is not a confining energy for you and you are able to um, see the corporations and see that they're serving the people rather than not serving the people. So if that's your timeline, what you're going to be calling in to your experience are corporations and businesses that you can interact with and maybe even work for that are in alignment with your truth. And they already exist. They're continuing to be brought forward on this planet. More and more of them are in existence. Now, are there still corporations that are not in alignment with our highest and greatest good and are maybe preying on us a little bit? Absolutely. But am I focusing and giving my attention to and aligning with that? No, I'm not. I'm aligning with the things that are supporting me in my new earth reality of what I want to create. And so you are a powerful divine creator being. What you focus on will persist in your reality, right? But that doesn't mean that it completely negates the reality of the person beside you that is still locked into an old paradigm. They get to have that timeline. They get to operate right alongside you. And as I said in January, more and more people are going to be shifting into these new timelines as we move through this year and move into 2024. And so we're going to, as a collective in this healing circle in a couple of weeks, really work on activating new timelines for you based on your home frequency and almost magnetizing those timelines to you and letting the others fall away. But we're also going to do a little bit of work on the global timeline too and really just getting more clear on what we want to see happen and really aligning with that and bringing more attention and awareness to that, not to negate the experience of other people on this planet and what they desire, but just to expand what we desire and know that we are worthy of that desire coming online quicker, right? We don't have to wait the full 10 years that it may take for us to get there in 2032 or however long it's going to take us we can do it a little bit faster if we so desire, right? We are powerful beings. So this theme of activating new timelines really builds on when you're operating in your truth, when you're operating in your authenticity, you are magnetizing these experience, people, places, and things to you, and you are literally creating new realities in those instants. And as you do that, as you activate these new timelines, you start to change the fabric of the reality of those around you just ever so slightly, where when they look at you and they see, wow, this person is really aligned with their joy, they left their corporate job and they've started their own business and they're building new relationships and they're traveling and they're doing all these wonderful things, instead of them looking at you and judging you and being afraid of that or being even jealous of that, you might start to vibrate in such a way where you're holding so much joy that they say, wow, I wonder if I could do that too. And you start to open that possibility for the people in your family, right? So here we are redefining our role in our family, the people in your inner circle and in your outer circle, your, the strangers that you encounter, the people that you work with, you start to activate new possibilities for them of new timelines that they can align with when you live in your highest and greatest joy.
So this is about you dropping more into your truth, more into your integrity, more into your authenticity, and more into your power and letting go of any fears that you may have about claiming what you want and claiming these timelines and living in your highest truth. And in order to do that, some of these old childhood wounds that we talked about in the first theme where you feel responsible for everybody around you have to shift out of your experience because you can't hold all of that emotional baggage for the people who haven't chosen to join this timeline. You can have compassion for them, you can have love for them, you can have grace for them, but you can't do the work for them. And so this whole year was about being the embodied way shower, which means that you're just showing people the way all around you. We are closing that theme out in December with this activation of new timelines. So it is a big month, my friends. I hope you are excited. November was really hard. We did a lot of purging in November and a lot of clearing. We made a lot of space and you may be continuing to make a lot of space. You may feel a little tender at the beginning of December. You may feel a little inward. This is all of you calibrating to your home frequency and pulling some of that energy back so you can get really clear on what you want, what timelines you want in 2024. So you might need to eliminate a little bit of noise this month so you can get clear on what your truth is and that's totally okay just do it with grace and compassion okay so that's what's up this month I hope y'all are excited I'm really excited I'm really jazzed up about all of these themes I'm really happy to be hosting a lot of new people on this site, on this YouTube channel. I know I have a lot of new subscribers from my Serious Joy interview. I want to welcome you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting. I would love to hear from you all if you would place a comment below this video and let me know how this lands. Let me know how it feels, what's coming up for you. Let's have a conversation. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe to this page and don't forget to check out our trip to Peru in May and our healing circle on December 13th. All of those links will be below this video. Have an amazing month, everyone. Happy holidays if you're celebrating and I hope you enjoy your time, your downtime. I hope you get some downtime this month and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.